excited, but I don't think he's pitched as bad as that ERA might suggest. And underway on a night as Tommy Edmond, the shortstop for the Cardinals, leads it off. A guy who will slap the ball all over the field, hitting two. Ollie Marmel, the first year manager of the Cardinals, looking on from the first base dugout. But and their manager has done a good job of initiating the confidence in this team. Line to third in the play made by Matt Chapman for the first out. The way he has played in the field so far this season. Dylan Carlson hitting in the two spot of the year balloting a season ago. Got some good young players on this team. As the changeup from Barry. Okay, but Blue Jays aren't going to take them lightly despite missing those two big bats. Yeah, they just played a bit more like the, what they saw in Boston than what we had seen in the first half. Good curveball in for starting to gain the confidence that we saw when he first came to the team a year ago. A high fly ball to right center. Teoscar going back, running out of room, and it's gone. Carlson hits his sixth home run of the season, and the Cardinals take an early hitters. That ball moves to the barrel of the bat. It becomes very dangerous. Now not swinging the bats all that well. And here's Tyler O'Neill, born in Burnaby, MVP votes. He's not having his best year this year, and he was on the IL with an injury as well, just back about a week ago. Grounds one up the middle, where Santi for sure. Fly ball to right. Hernandez has room on this one. And a pool somewhere, but Evie's just six months old, so <laughs> she can't sit up and have popcorn like the rest of them. <laughs> it was awesome. My family has been terrific. 3 1 Blue Jays going to the Tickley, but with Arenado not here, Donovan, the guy chosen to play third. That's why Pujols is at first instead of D superstars, two future yeah. Hall of Famers that the, the Cardinals are missing. Well, just think about it. If it was Vladdy and Springer or Vlad at two primary positions, first and third. And Barrios gets the benefit of the day. And now the rookie second baseman, Nolan Gorman, takes a curveball at the 228 in the big leagues, but he has some serious pop. And I think guys like Rears, they've got a good farm system at the top end. It's why you hear the Cardinals being mentioned. As a possible landing spot for one. that are good everyday prospects, guys that might play every day in the big leagues, and the Cardinals are loaded with those guys. In fact, so you kind of have a problem there. It's a one hopper to Bichette playing in the shift. It's four Eastern, but it's six this year. Six this year. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's a familiar face. This is a last season. Blue Jays granted him free agency at the end of the year, and he signed a one-year deal with the Cardinals. Guriel coming over and he makes it ready for the games. 3 1 Blue Jays going to the third as Fornia, eighth round pick out of USC back in 2018 in his second year in the big leagues. Obviously, and who knows, he could go anywhere, but he would take somebody's job out of the outfield. The Cardinals would be looking for more off in the Yankees lineup. A left handed hitter in Yankee Stadium. I mean, everybody's talking about, well, that will mean that there's in the futures games that were older than Juan Soto. Change up Mrs. Lowe with a full count on Newt Bar. And whoever gets Soto, even if they don't sign him to build, you know, the sooner they trade him, theoretically, the more they get for him. All four inside. Uh, Barrios, that's the last thing you want to do in that situation like he did last year. Blue Jays will be in good shape. He's only walked more than two batters. Same thing with Kisner, but they're not getting the production they would like out of him in the absence of Molina. Well, and Yadi Molina was an infield. Recently, as you just saw for Kisner. The two seamer runs up and in. Two balls in. And three and one. So all of a sudden, Barrio guys might have a little rust on him. He is on eight days rest. Down the middle, and it's fouled off. Three and two. Yeah. Runner at first, nobody out. Runner starts and stops, and it's strike three called. 96. We're now back to the top of the order for the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. At Gorman and moved Edmond from second to short. Right. On the gold glove as a second baseman last year. 
Up and away, one and two. Barrio starting to. In days gone by as a player, as a coach as well, internationally. The guy who's been with the Cardinals. That's a foul ball. So they've got Tyler O'Neill from Bur Memphis in 2002, and he and Stubby were teammates. That'll get under the glove of Bichette into left field. A base hit for Edmund up to second. It goes Newton. Starts him with a curveball, but he missed outside for ball one. Last year as a rookie, 18. We talked about the injuries they have. They're also without Harrison. Bay. With great speed and a lot of range in center. Lined into center, a base hit. This will get Newt Bar home, stopping at second. As mentioned, from Burnaby, BC. Born there. Now went to high school in Maple Ridge, 2012. Boy, that sweeping curveball. That's foul ball. One and here. They travel like Blue Jay fans do. They've got a huge following. Got him to chase, and he strikes him out. Two down, and now here's Albert Pujols hit a fly ball to right his first time up. Albert didn't like him. on the RBI list. Without Goldschmidt, he has to play first base. It just feels right, though, that he's going to end. In those 11 years with the Cardinals, he won three. And people forget, played all over the field as a rookie. And he bounces one through the open right side for a base hit. And Edmund will come into score. And the inning will continue for Brendan Donovan, the third baseman. He was called out on strikes in his first at bat. Donovan, a rookie, as he takes a strike. One. Boy, oh, tied him up with a curveball in one and two. Now we have seen quality pitches, but they have been in a big curveball for the second out of this inning. Runner going as it is pulled foul. And Barrio strikes out Donovan. Arm. Everybody knows that. It's can he command the fastball? You heard Arash use the word athletic as Guriel drifts into the corner and he makes the counting Thursday against Detroit. Yeah, it sure does. And boy, boy, that'd be a nice boost to this rotation if he could come back with body types. But Alec Manoa, for a big guy, has a beautiful athletic delivery. Same for Gosman. And took out York, had it. There are a lot of the pitchers have a hesitation over the mound. Vice K. Matsuzaka had it as well. Bichette, bare hands, fires and gets him. And back in spring training, and I was there, sun up in spring training, watching he and Santiago guys have been rock solid up the middle. So two down after that back of Milwaukee for the top spot in the National League Central. Sharply hit ball into right field, a base hit for Newt Bar. Big turn and forces Teoscar Hernandez to make it. Look good, but it's called low ball. Foul ball up the third base line. It's a great team in the 80s, and they have always had a winning tradition. And you think about the players that have gone through there. You know, you go back to Roger Maris and Orlando Cepeda, Mark McGuire, just so many great players. Good curveball there to strike out Kisner. And a liner into right center, a base hit. Hey, Oscar's got to get over there quickly. Edmund runs very well. Wilson, who's already had a big night, a home run in the first and an RBI single in the third. Blue Jays trying to. Yeah, if Guriel and Hernandez were in the dugout with him, he'd be down to the far right. Trying to mock the skipper a little bit. Yeah. We've seen him do that with Adam Simber when he comes into the game and goes. 
Wild back three and two. Carlson's got a pretty good swing. He's already hit a home run, has an RBI single as well, so he's driven it with his first inning home run. Could have some action here. Edmund bluffs a start, and it's a swing and a miss to get Carlson one down. Behind the pitcher, and Carlson strikes out. So now Tyler O'Neill up for the three for them in the second half of the year. He hit 34 home runs last year. And again, he was on the IL for about. This looks like he's coming into the game. He's completed his warm ups. He's just standing by trying to stay ready. Oh, what a catch by Espinall. Double play. Home stand, and he's going to go back home to Virginia for the off day on Monday and spend some more time at home with his family. But a terrible tragedy, and because of his faith, his family, he's been able to manage it as well as possible. With another terrible, terrible tragedy and a loss for the Budzinski family for sure. Who holds leading off the sixth in a tie game, and Barrios jumps out in front of one and two. Albert tonight a fly ball to right and an RBI single. Fouled off, so he sure Pujols. Yeah, when you look at that, you got Donovan, Gorman, Dickerson, and Newtbar all left handed hitters all in a row, so this is really going to be literally. Chase the curve, full count. And he'll work Barrios for a walk. Couple of strikeouts. Barrios ready to go. And gets the call on the curve. Oh, gonna miss, and he starts him with that curveball in the outside corner. There's the ground ball. Espinal. They'll get one, but that stays aware. They're never really panicked, understanding. He had a little extra time with Pujols running. It's been 0 for 2. 15 home they have in their organization. And Brio's trying to mess with. 0 2. And he got him. Swing and a miss at a curve in the dirt. Two down. Popped up in foul territory, but no play. No one. Good changeup. Well located. And lined in the center, a base hit for Dickerson. And around a third comes. <laughs>